Okay, math, uh, 85 students. So we've talked about what percents are. And we were able to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents. And we have translated basic, equa or basic word problems into equations that we can solve uh, that involve percents. So now let's focus on specific types of application problems that involve sales tax, commission, and discounts, okay? And again, these are problems that you'll see all the time in your everyday life, so this should be helpful for um, figuring out if things are kind of worth your worth your money or not. So um, problems involving sales tax. Sales tax, the amount of tax will always be the rate times the purchase price. So the tax rate times whatever the total purchase is, that'll give you the, um, the amount of sales tax. And so then calculating the total cost um, that, of an item, you would take the purchase price and add on that sales tax, which would be a percentage of the purchase price. And so Kathy bought a bicycle in Washington where the tax rate was 6.5% of the purchase price. So if the bicycle was listed for $392, what's the sales tax and what's the total cost of the bike? So first, let's calculate the sales tax. So the sales tax will be that tax rate, 6.5% of the $392. So let's calculate that. Remember, 6.5%, if you want to plug the whole thing into your calculator, you would do 6.5 over 100 times $392. Or you could just, instead of doing 6.5 over 100, you could move that decimal point over and just say 0 .6, 0 .065. Um, all right, so 6.5%, so 6.5 over 100 times $392 gives me $25.48. So that's the amount of tax. So then to find the, um, the total purchase price, the so total cost would be the purchase price, $392 plus that $25.48, right? So the total cost add the sales tax to the $392, get $417.48. So the total cost. Okay. So now anything involving sales tax, we should be able to solve those types of problems. Now Evelyn bought, here's another example. Evelyn bought a new smartphone for $4.99 plus tax. She was surprised when she got the receipt and saw that the tax was $42.42. .42. What was that sales tax rate? Where, you know, uh, maybe she wasn't aware of what the percentage would be. All right, so first let's declare our variable. Let's let X be the tax rate. And of course we want to say the tax rate as a decimal. So then this question really is, um, what percent of the purchase price, $4.99, is the, the tax amount, which is $42.42. .42. So you say X times $4.99 equals $42.42. .42. We can solve for that uh, percentage by dividing both sides by 4.99 to get x by itself. Say 42.42 divided by 499 dollars gives me z point. So zero point. Let's say we'll go to um, we'll give three places after the decimal here. Okay, so 0.85. Look at the next place, it's a zero, so that leaves the five alone. So it's approximately 0, 0 0.085. So this is the percent at, or the rate as a decimal. So then to write it as a percent,
we have to multiply by 100 to move the decimal point over two places. So if you wanted to do that on your calculator, just say times 100, and you see that moves the decimal point over two places for you. So the tax rate is 8.5 approximately. So it's approximately 8.5%, which is kind of a high tax rate.